is i want to ask you a little bit questions around uh, salesforce domain uh, mm-hmm. i'll start with the with the very basic one and i'm sure you must know this that what are the key salesforce features that support business process automation i am if i want to give you a hint i would say uh, mm-hmm. can you tell me a little uh, little bit of automation processes that are in salesforce by default for example there is process builder there is uh, mm-hmm. there was workflow which is a legacy now any other right. process or, or any other automations that you know that salesforce has right right uh, so basically in salesforce uh, like mostly if i talk specifically about the automation so salesforce as an uh, as in bre- best practice salesforce follows the uh, declarative approach first so basically uh, they will try to approach through uh, and some point and click tools and if the solution is not visible within this uh, so within this configuration or within this uh, approach mm-hmm. then they'll move it to the customization where the program where the where uh, comes the pro- programming part so into salesforce like uh, if there are some uh, if there are some uh, repetitive tasks that needs to be uh, that that are uh, taking the uh, they are consuming the time of a particular admin or the developer or someone like that so we in salesforce we have uh, particular fe- like features like um, we have a uh, workflow uh, workflow rules which you have already mentioned that it is already it, it has been retired from salesforce and like we have process builder as well and another thing uh, in the recent time which is the most uh, like the uh, most popular uh, is the lightning flow 